This week's non-noobs story comes from the wonderful world of tennis. Being as though tennis isn't football, I wasn't imagining that this sports story would gain much traction. The main story being that of Serena Williams, a tennis girl, having an outburst. Which subsequently went on to find her $17,000. Now this wouldn't have gone anywhere except for the fact that this person is obviously a protected minority. So it's gone from the fact that she was cheating, which her coach has admitted to on several occasions, to being a sexist, racist witch hunt against all black female athletes and women in general. Imagine my surprise and shock at the complaints being raised from sport where men actually get paid two-fifths less than a woman for the work that they do. What's equally surprising is that although this is a battle for sexism, another woman won. So where the fuck is the sexism? Holy shit, another woman won. So men are damned again. Let's make this clear. She smashed her racket off the floor, which was the first warning. She was receiving coaching, which was the second warning. And then abused the umpire. Get the fuck out of here with an innocent woman abused by a man in power re- rhetoric. She said a piece to the umpire and should have left it, at, and left it at that, but instead, no. At the end of the day, she wasn't his wife, so he doesn't have to put up with her shit. So the week progresses, and a cartoonist does an illustration of Serena behaving like a petulant child who hasn't got her own way because she lost. What's that? A cartoon about a protected minority is racist, no matter how true it is. The artist Mark Knight's response was then published by the Herald Sun on the criticism which she had received a ton of abuse online for, and Mark Knight's response was an absolute belter. He said, how do you draw an African-American person without them looking like an African-American? Some lefty liberal in the UK then went on to say on the BBC that uh, she was bitching about racist tropes and Jim Crow. She went on to the programme, the BBC Breakfast, with a t-shirt saying, why be sexist, racist, homophobic or transphobic when you could just be quiet? But I would put it to her, with her lefty virtue signalling, that why be offended at every single cartoon, movie, artist and white man when you can simply be quiet and control your emotions? And no point did this woman blame her coach who shouldn't have been coaching her whatsoever. At no point did she criticise her for smashing up her racket like a petulant child. At no point does she acknowledge that Serena shouldn't be amusing, abusing a man in his place of work. I mean, fuck me. If Serena's been abused, then I'd be abused for the millions that she earned. I haven't seen the highlights of the game. It wasn't a close game anyway, and she was going to lose, but she could have done this a bit more gracefully. Jesus titty fucking Christ, she won about $1.8 million for losing. So fuck her. And the fact that $17,000 is small change and nothing else. The other subject within tennis has been that Serena had a year off to have a baby. And her supporters think she shouldn't have lost her number one spot. And she shouldn't have had it taken off her. I mean, that's just a constrict at the end of the day. Can I call Nigel Mansell the number one Formula One driver? As I personally thought his tash was fucking majestic. And after all, he only retired, which is temporary when you think about it. The same as going on maternity leave. She should take stock of her current attitude and retire as the greatest female tennis player ever before she becomes a joke or before they make women play men and she suddenly drops from being number one or number two in the world to about 300. The real loser of this whole scenario was the poor girl Naomi Osaka, who actually won the game fair and square but had to subsequently apologise for winning to a crowd who booed relentlessly. And for all those that booed her, I hope your next shit is a hedgehog to be honest.